Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do a do-it-yourself Ray Dunn. This is entirely inspired by Ray Dunn clay. For those of you who are not familiar with Ray Dunn, this is a huge trend right now. Ray Dunn currently has a line of houseware, including canisters, plates, serveware, pitchers, etc. This is very farmhouse style, so it goes perfect for my home decor. Those of you who are familiar with Ray Dunn, you know how hard it can be to find these pieces, depending on the area that you live in and which piece you're looking for. I've listed the actual retail price so you can compare to some of the examples of people who are literally buying stores out of these and upselling them. And it's just really not fair. So instead of hunting or paying an absurd amount of money from people who are upselling, here's an easy way to do it yourself at a much more affordable cost. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually buy a bunch that are on clearance. So these are another example of styles of Radon products that have simply been marked down to clearance. I was able to find a bunch of these for under $10. Most of them were between $5 and $8. And again, you can go back and compare these to the retail prices to see what they were originally. So I'm simply going to cover up the current design on the clay. So to do that, I'm going to use Rust-Oleum spray paint. I'm going to use the color Harloom White. And then I'm also going to place a clear gloss over top once this is dry. Depending on the design that's currently printed on the canister or clay item, you might need a few layers. So be sure that you spray in a very light, even amount. Applying light layers rather than a ton at once will prevent the paint from dripping. You also have the option of using clay, glass, plastic, etc. items that you already own. Another great option would be to pick up pieces from either the dollar store, a thrift store, consignment shop, or yard sale. You can find extremely affordable, dirt cheap items that are perfect for do-it-yourself projects. So next to make the word, I'm going to use my Cricut. I've wanted one of these for about two years now and I finally purchased one. This is obviously an investment and something that you're going to use multiple times for multiple different do-it-yourself projects. If you don't feel like spending the money or don't have any other need for such machine, then you may just want to opt out and use a black permanent marker. So to make my words, I'm going to use the premium outdoor glossy vinyl as well as transfer tape. For the font itself, the closest one I could find is from Defont and this is called The Skinny. Here's easy steps on how to download the font directly to your computer as well. So all you're going to do is type the words that you want with the Cricut application, cut the words onto the vinyl, and of course peel away the excess. Then taking your dried clay piece, you're going to remove the vinyl sticker and apply it to the clay. So for this example, this is one of the Valentine theme pieces that is very hard to come by. So I'm going to apply this onto my plate. Once your vinyl decal is applied, you're done. I can't wait to make a bunch more of these for the holidays. I'm so excited, especially Halloween and Christmas. I just think they're so cute. As far as care for these after your product is done, I highly recommend hand washing. So just keep that in mind. Another great option for these is you can also use the backs of the canisters. So you can get multiple uses out of one. You could put one word on one side and one on the back. This is a great idea, especially if you're using these for seasonal or holiday decor. Here are a few other examples of ones that I've made. You could create ones that are for everyday use or also holiday. And in my opinion, comparing these to the real thing, they're pretty spot on. I would love to know which Ray Dunn piece is your favorite, so comment that down below. If you guys have any more questions, be sure to read the description box. I also posted a ton of links there for you guys to shop, as well as discount codes. So that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to make sure you guys are still subscribed, and I will see you guys in the next video.